and welcome. So today we're gonna take a look at my latest radio controlled car that I just built, the Hornet. That's right, this uh, as you can tell looks very 80s and that's what attracted me to it. Um, this car, the original kit was released in 1984 and uh, it is presently still made today. It's reissued. Um, now I built this in 2021, in, in January. Uh, but um, you know, this kit was out at least in 2020. I don't know if it was out before that or not, but uh, originally from the 1980s, reissued, and I just completed it, so let's check it out. Okay, so we're back in the workshop here. Let's take a closer look at the Hornet. So, like I was saying, it's a very 80s styled radio controlled car. Uh, the original kit was produced and manufactured and uh, released in 1980s, uh, 1984 to be exact. Uh, of course, this is a reissue built in 2021. Now, as you can see, it is very 1980s styled, maybe even a little bit 1970s with how you have these, uh, these yellow and orange tones. Uh, stripes here uh, really contrasts nice against the black of course you can paint these however you want I painted it black uh, but you know very sleek looking car we even have a driver inside uh, that I painted that's all hand painted as well um, was a very fun kit to build and really reminds me a lot of the Sears Lobo as you can see there the Sears Lobo very similar style in terms of being a frame buggy again striping graphics quite similar um, but major difference is this is bigger and a heck of a lot more powerful than this little guy here um, this has a 540 motor in it where this one um, I'm not sure what the Sears Lobo had but um, the Sears Lobo 2 had I think a 365 so um, you know significant motor size differences that's going to be a lot more powerful a lot more faster and because it's a kit a lot more easier to fix if i crash <laughs> so let's take a closer look at the hornet okay so now let's take a, a little bit of an overview of the hornet here uh what you have here spring shocks for the front oil filled in the back You got your knobby tires, and you have bumpers, uh, frame, whatever you want to call it here. You got a nice bumper on the front here. Uh, you have uh, fake headlights, of course, but they look real cool. There's your motor. That's your 540 motor uh, that came with the kit. I believe that is upgradable. 
um, but this one is the I guess the stock motor for this car and you got your clamps your antenna and um, as you can see my antenna the wire actually only goes up to here so I could actually cut that if I wanted to um, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is so let's take a little closer look okay removing the clamps there's one Two, three. Okay, we're gonna remove the shell here. As you can see here, there's the underneath, you know, you paint these from the inside out. So you spray paint the bottom. Now what I like to do is I like to put masking tape around the holes here so that you don't scratch the bottom of the paint when you're clamping it. You know, you don't want, if you have like a mist or something, you don't want this here, these pins here, scratching anything. Now let's take a look at the inside. Okay, this was electronic speed control. This came with the kit. Now, I don't know if all kits come with the speed controls, but mine did. So I have that in there. Then I had to buy a radio and this is the receiver that came with the radio and the servo that came with the radio. You have to buy a servo as well. Um, the kit that I bought for my radio came with both. Also actually came with the battery. Now my battery, which is not the battery that came with the kit, um, that's right here. So if you flip this over, you have your power switch and then here is the battery pack. Right here, you have to remove the cover. Pops right off, and there's my battery. Again, that's not the battery that I got with the receiver and the, the radio package. Uh, right now, I have that one charging. <laughs> so this is another battery that I already had, and it runs really well in the car. It's a 7.2 volt battery pack. And then, of course, here, I zip-tied the wires. Now, um... You don't have to do that. I just chose to do it, and the kit came with the ties to do it. Also, tape some wires down. Now, just um, an interesting note here. I have an extra wire here that's not connected to anything. Um, this speed control has some sort of additional wiring for, I, I think, a sensor or something. I'm not really familiar with them, uh, but I don't have the sensor, so um, it's not connected. And here's just a closer look at the driver. You know, that he's hand painted as well. All of the painting on here, it, you know, was done by myself. Um, you can buy these kits where I think it actually comes pretty much ready to run, where you just have to um, basically get your electronics and put them in. But you can get the kits at some places where they actually sell this already done. Uh, I chose to do it myself. And an interesting note here, the uh, bars to the roll bar here for the roll cage, uh, this bar, they're, they're painted. Um, it actually comes with stickers for that. I chose to paint mine. Uh, but you can actually just use it with stickers too uh, and covers that up and makes it look silver. Um, mine's actually aluminum paint. And this is like a gloss black. Now, if you watched my prior video, I did an unboxing for this car. This really is not part of the unboxing, but this is the radio kit that I bought. And uh, as you can see here, it's a uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio control system. This radio runs really well. I'm very pleased with it. And it comes with a lot of extras. It comes with everything you see here. It comes with the radio, the receiver, electronic speed control, servo battery charger and battery so this is a pretty good deal if you can find this one online like i did really good deal so now since my car kit came with a uh, speed control i actually now have an extra speed control from buying this package and i'll use that in my next car okay here's just a quick little electronics and motor test just so you can see so let's find the switch on the underneath 
somewhere around here. All right, I have to turn it over. I don't that familiar with the car yet. <laughs> there we go. Do you hear that? Receiver's looking. Okay, just made contact with the radio because it just turns it on. Steering. And here is the motor. And reverse. Okay, so there you have it. Here's the Hornet. Vintage looking, classic build, enjoyable. I really like it, highly recommended. And um, what would a video like this be without showing it operating? So let's uh, give it a run.
Okay, so there you have it. The Hornet. Vintage, classic, very 1980s. A lot of fun to build, even more fun to operate. So, if you're interested in one of these cars, you know, I strongly suggest you check this model out because it is, uh, it's a lot of fun. So, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if this is the first time you've seen one of my videos on this car, uh, I do have an unboxing video as well. Uh, so feel free to check that out. If uh, you've already seen that, then this is the second video on the Hornet. And um, I hope you enjoyed the whole process. Um, I didn't do a, a total build video. Um, kind of just gave you a few highlights of that. Uh, but there are plenty of people on YouTube that have built this car in its entirety on YouTube so you can see the time-lapse you can see exactly how to build it you know check it out I strongly suggest uh, you know recommend you check those videos out as well if you're really interested in this car I'll give you a better idea about what it's about but for me I just wanted to give you a simple overview and I hope you enjoyed it so thanks for watching see you soon